the apply method has kind of a companion. So apply is used to turn an object into a function and we also use it for indexing. We saw that for the array type, you the indexing there is just done with an apply method. We were able to add an apply into our vector and allow it to be indexed into, though of course this isn't a really exciting indexing. Turns out that lists and basically in general the sequences and many other collections that we'll learn about later, all they really do is they apply, they, they write an apply method that takes the appropriate argument and that gives you the ability to do indexing. What about on an array the other side of things? So let's make an array one, two, three. We saw that that's actually just calling the apply method. And on the array companion object, we'll talk more about those in the next video. And we also have, and we saw that we can do something like this to get a value out. But what about when you do that? When you do an assignment? Well, actually, let's just print out A. It mutated A. But what was going on here? Because if this called the apply method, that apply method just returned an int, and we couldn't do an assignment into that. In order to make this syntax work, Scala has another method that it considers special called the update method. And so when you write the update method, what happens with this call, the a sub 1 equals 99, that actually winds up being a dot update 1 99. So it takes two arguments, the first of which is whatever was indexed here, and the second of which is what's, a, what's on the right-hand side of the equal sign. Now we don't want to put this in our normal vector because we don't want to be able to, to update values because it's supposed to be immutable. But our mutable vector, this is a perfectly valid thing to do, and the code's going to wind up looking very similar to apply. We're going to have an update method that takes an index that is an int and our new value, which will be a double. This doesn't return anything to us. And we're going to match on that index case zero we'll do underscore x equals new value case one we'll do underscore y equals new value and then anything else as with the apply method should probably throw an exception and we'll give it an appropriate message something like 2d vector updated at dollar index spell the original variable properly so that everything works okay so this is the update method as I said earlier, it's kind of a companion to apply. It allows you to do assignments with indexing. You should only put this in classes that are mutable, just like these assignment operators that we put up here only went into the mutable class. They did not go into the immutable class because they really don't belong there. But this is what allows Scala to have its array type not be a built-in language feature, Instead, it is a library. Uh, it's basically a class in the library, yet it behaves as if it were built into the language. And so over the, the course of these videos, we will wind up writing our own collection types, and we'll be able to write apply and update to make it so that our collection types act the same way as the ones that are built into Scala. Basically, the ones that are in Scala, there's nothing special about them. They are just using the general rules of the Scala language and it allows the libraries to be highly expressive and to look in many ways like they are language features.